دی اسپائرل آف سائلنس تھیری بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ربی شرح علی صدری و یسر علی عمری و حل القطم لسانی افقا و قولی آئی ہوپ یو آل گائز آر ڈوئنگ ویل ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ٹاک اباؤٹ اسپائرل آف سائلنس تھیری دس اسپائرل آف سائلنس تھیری واز پرپوزڈ بائی جرمن اسکالر الزبتھ نوئلے نیو مین ان نائنٹین سیونٹی فور دس تھیری بیسکلی ٹاکس اباؤٹ دیٹ دی پیپل دوز ہو ہیو دیئر اوپینین ناٹ ان لائن ود دا اوپینین آف دا میڈیا اینڈ دا میجورٹی آف دا پیپل they tend to remain silent because of uh, fear of isolation, rejection or separation from uh, people around them. Um, this theory is uh, considered as a uh, form of or uh, in a line of agenda setting theory. It focuses on macro level uh, rather than micro level uh, impacts and issues and uh, aspects of media. Um, according to this theory, uh, media mostly presents one side of issue due to which minorities stay silent. Um, I mean, uh, the widespread issue, um, widespread opinion is the opinion about which people, I mean, the people who have the same kind of opinion which is widely spread, they would speak uh, highly as compared to the people who have a dissent voice or different opinion as compared to the opinion shared on media. Um, it cannot affect political decision making because majority rules. Um, so, uh, Elizabeth Noelle Newman suggested that uh, uh, media due to three characteristics have a strong impact on the society, on the minds of people. They are uh, mm, the ubiquity, ubiquitous characteristics of media and uh, the cumulating effect of media and the consonants. So, ubiquity means media is virtually everywhere as a source of information. And uh, cumulating means media repeats uh, stories in programs, media and across time. And consonant means similarly, uh, similarity of values held by journalists influence the content uh, they produce. I mean, uh, according to this theory, these three characteristics made media, uh, make media uh, effective and influential. Um, according to this theory, uh, individuals have opinions, but uh, If their opinions are not in, accordings, in accordance with the majority of the uh, people's opinion or the opinion being shared on media, they tend to remain silent. They do not express their opinion publicly. Why? Because of fear of isolation, fear of uh, uh, rejection or fear of uh, um, separation uh, from the mainstream media, mainstream society and mainstream people. Um, this theory believes that media create uh, uh, media's character is monopolistic. Media creates monopoly. I mean, monopoly of the people who have same kind of uh, opinion, and those who do do have a different kind of opinion, they tend to remain silent. And why they remain silent? As I mentioned earlier, that they remain silent because of the fear of isolation, fear of uh, rejection, and fear of uh, separation. Um, uh, the scholars have suggested that there are certain strengths of uh, this theory and there are certain weaknesses of this theory. As far as the strengths are concerned, um, macro and micro level explanatory power. I mean, this theory talks about the impact of uh, media at macro level and micro level also. I mean, It talks about society also and it talks about individual also. Macro means uh, talking uh, about impacts at uh, larger level, at society level 
and micro level means talking about the impacts of uh, media on individual levels um this series is dynamic i mean yes it is dynamic uh, how it is dynamic uh, it's not static in time and space i mean um, it was worth uh, applying in 1974 when it was suggested and it's worth applying right now i mean um, let's have a discussion on it i mean um, suppose um, you uh, have some kind of opinion about uh, um, um, swat operation for instance but that opinion is uh, against or it's not in accordance with the opinion that is being shared by ispr or by mainstream media do you really think that you would if you are given a chance to talk about this issue at a national tv channel suppose airy geo express duniya sama would you i mean dare talk about that uh, uh, your opinion against that mainstream media I, i i doubt that why because you would have many kinds of fears i mean you would be uh, treated differently you would be taken as uh, you know you will be given different kinds of names i mean um i don't know simply you can say that if Uh, uh, your opinion is uh, not in accordance in line with the opinion being shared by media you would either remain silent or you would uh, um, change your opinion to the opinion of the majority of the people i mean we can have another example like uh, um, suppose uh, um, during some crisis like uh, religious crisis uh if uh, the national tv channels are giving particular kind of narrative um just consider yourself in a situation that uh, you want to talk against the opinion being shared in international in national and international media would you dare talk about that so i mean Uh, obviously one would try to remain silent because of many reasons but this theory has given three main reasons fear of uh, isolation fear of rejection and fear rejection and fear of separation so you can apply this theory uh, right in these days also not only in the days of uh, 1974 so media has developed from uh, media has developed from uh print media and radio to uh, electronic media and digital media still the strong point of this uh, this theory is that you can apply this theory in modern times also then there is a shift um in public opinion especially during campaigns so uh, this theory talks about that and then this theory raises questions about role and responsibility of media similarly there are some weaknesses of uh, this theory also that uh, this uh, this is an over pessimistic view of media influence and average people um, and this means that uh, um, again traditionally speaking um, media's influence have been highly rated here then it ignores other similar explanations of silencing yes that's an important point i mean this is not only uh, the uh, opinion of the majority people that makes you um, silent but there are some other reasons because of which you would tend to remain silent if you have different uh, opinion so uh, this is the weakness of for this theory that this theory has not pointed out or explained those uh, explanations of silencing and then it ignores possible demographic and cultural differences in silence yes i mean uh, one can be very outspoken about some social issue but the the same outspoken person cannot or will not talk about the same issue when in different cultural or social settings so these are some kind of uh, weaknesses and then um there is uh, this uh, spiral in front of you i mean if you have uh, 
this um, slides this ppt uh, presentation that i have made for you in front of you if you have it in front of you you would see on uh, slide number 7 that uh, i have uh, uh, given you a spiral where this theory has been mentioned and explained that there is a public opinion uh, as communicated by the media it is at the highest and broader level of uh, the spiral if your opinion is in accordance with the uh, opinion shared by media you would be at the higher level and then there is the majority view then there is a silent minority if you uh, have uh, the opinion in the middle way you would be talking about you would be standing standing in the middle of the spiral and if you have uh, uh, simply a different opinion uh then the opinion being shared on media then you would remain uh, silent tend to remain silent you would prefer remain silent and why because because of fear of isolation so i hope uh, you guys would have uh, some clear idea about uh, spiral of silence after viewing this uh, slide and after uh, listening to this uh, audio lecture uh, i would suggest you guys to go through the reading material that i have suggested in your uh, course outline and that i have been uh, that i have given in your uh, uh, course material so best of luck assalam alaikum